All right, let's break this down. Here's the question. Google is considering giving away one year of free cloud storage to Pixel users. How much is this going to cost Google? That's the question. All right, let's go ahead and break this down based on the formula I kind of give you. And I'm going to go through this really quickly. Uh, and I'm going to include a Google Doc with some notes so you guys can follow along if you uh, get lost because we are going to go pretty fast here. So first step, get clarity questions. All right, when they say storage, what type of storage? And we're making an assumption that it's going to be media storage. Uh, where will that storage be kept? Uh, we're going to make an assumption that's in the cloud. Um, also, what market are they talking about? Where they're talking about the U.S. market. When they talk about users, we're going to make the assumption they're talking new Pixel users, not those that have upgraded, but those that are getting new devices. So going with those assumptions, we break it up into the three components that they talked about. So we have phone, we have media, we have storage, and that's how you're going to keep the hierarchy to keep it organized as you kind of go through all of these. So the assumptions we need to make is population in the U.S. So we're going to go ahead and make the assumption that there's 300 million people in the U.S. We're going to make the assumption that two thirds or 200 million roughly of uh, people in the U.S. have smartphones. And Google has 50% market share. Apple has another 50%. So there, there's 100 million Google phones out there. Let's say Pixel actually represents 20% of their entire phone portfolio. So that's 20 pixels. And every year they add 25% growth. So that's 5 million pixels are added to the smartphone market in the U.S. every year. So there you go. That's our first number, 5 million smartphones. The second one is media. This gets a little bit more complicated. Um, so we're talking about pictures and video. And what we have to do is make an assumption of average user ratios. What I mean by that is number of pictures over number of videos. And we're just gonna say for simplicity here, five to one. So every five pictures that are taken, there's one video taken and they do this uh, once a day every year, and there's 300 days in you know this fictional calendar year for simplicity purposes. So that's what we have for media. So the next assumption is is that um, when it comes to storage, each of these uh, uh, media components, pictures and video, have their own storage size. So we're going to say each picture is five megabytes, and each video is an average of 30 seconds, and each second of video is 10 megabytes. So that means for a 30 second video, it's 300 megabytes per video. Okay. And for Google, we're going to make the assumption that it costs them uh, $12 a year or a dollar a month per terabyte uh, for them for cloud storage. So now what we have to do is we have to come up with the equations. So kind of went through those numbers with you real quick. So I've written these down. So we have population minus number of phones times market share times portfolio times adoption and that's what gave us that first five um five million number the second one is number of pictures so we're going to say um uh five pictures per day 300 days 1500 pictures times five megabytes and we're looking at 7.5 gigs okay and over video we're looking at one video per day at 300 megabytes 300 days uh, 90,000 megabytes or 90 uh, gigs, okay? And so we have 7.5 gigs, 90 gigs. Let's go ahead and just round it up to a nice 100 number for media storage requirements. So we have that. Now let's go to the cost for Google. Terabytes, again, um, which is 1,000 gigs, um, and we're getting a dollar per month. Um, over a year, $12 uh, a year for 12 gigs, essentially, is what we're getting. Now, we got to think about the edge cases here, and we have to call those out because they're really important. They're not going to be counted into our equations or our estimations, but they do need to be identified. So the first thing is consumption by demographics is huge, right? The average of five to one ratio is probably not going to be realistic for, you know, a Gen Y, a Gen Z a user, right? Other thing is, is that adoption, churn, retention rates, those are going to vary. We don't have the data on that. Uh, storage compression capabilities, I'm sure Google has that. Actually, you know they do. Um, and what does that look like? And is that like a true representation of the cost per terabyte? Probably not, but it's the best we're doing. Uh, the variable settings for the user. 
when it comes to the quality of the pictures and videos, that's going to determine the amount of storage needed, right? So if we're taking 4K video versus, you know, uh, 720p, it's going to be a very different type. Um, and that storage capabilities will be variably different. And the last thing is, is that does Google plan to allow the user to keep this storage after a year for free? Do the user has to pay for it? Um, and if they resubscribe, what does that subscription fee look like? So things to take account. So as we kind of broke this down, we've broke down and we got the 5 million uh, phones. We've done that one already. We've already broke down and got, um, um, uh, it's gonna be about 100 megabytes per user, right? And we know that's gonna be about $12 a year for Google per terabyte. So when we go through all the math on this, um, before doing so, we gotta make sure our assumptions are pretty close to accurate. And I think they're pretty good. Um, for this ex for this example, right? You know, you can you can split hairs whether there's 365 days a year or 300, you know, go 300, 400, whatever you want to round up to. But for simplicity purposes, we're doing that. Now, where it comes all together, so five million phones times 100 gigabytes. Now you're looking at 500 million gigabytes divided by a thousand gives you a terabyte. So now we're looking at 500,000 terabytes. At a terabyte a month times 12, um, 500,000 terabytes times 12. Now we're looking at $6 million. So the cost to Google to offer this promotion to new Pixel users is going to be roughly $6 million for this promotion. I'll include some of the notes in a Google Doc and you guys can review. Thanks for listening.